Hey everybody, it's me, Miss You. Pull out the paper I gave to you Friday at the end of class. We're going to be graphing with intercepts. In order to get the intercept, you want to do x is equal to 0, what is y? So I end up with 4 times 0 plus 5y is equal to 20. And now this becomes 0 plus 5y is equal to 20. Now we want to divide both sides by 5, and I get y is equal to 4. What happens, so we're going to create a table. I have x and y. I have x is equal to 0, y is equal to 4. That was the bell, but I'm going to finish this. Y, x is equal to 0, y is equal to 4. What happens when y is equal to 0? We end up with 4x is equal to 20, because 5 times 0 is equal to 0. We want to divide both sides by 4, and I get x is equal to 5. So now I have y is 0, x is 5, okay? So I have x being equal to 0, y is 4, x is equal to 5, y is 0, and this is what our graph looks like. Okay? We're going to do the same thing over here. We're going to do it by substitution. So I have 2 times 0. x. What happens when x is 0? 2 times 0 plus y is equal to 2. That means y is equal to 2. And then when y is equal to 0, y is equal to 0 means 2x is equal to 2. We're dividing both sides by 2. And I end up with x is equal to 1. Let's create our table. We have x and y. When x is 0, y is 2. When y is 0, x is 1. So let's put this down. x is 0, y is 2. x is 1, y is 0. And this is our graph. Let's go on to question 3. Um, here again, we have x is equal to 0. That means negative y is equal to negative 4 because 2x times 0 is 0. We're going to multiply both sides by negative 1, and I end up with y is equal to positive 4. What happens when y is equal to 0? When y is equal to 0, we end up with 2x is equal to negative 4. We're dividing both sides by 2, and I get x is equal to negative 2. So y is equal to 0, x is equal to negative 2. Here we go. x and y, let's create the table. When y is 0, x is negative 2. We just graphed that. When x is 0, y is positive 4. So when x is 0, y is positive 4. This is the graph we get. Last one that I'm going to do with you on a video is x minus 2y is equal to negative 8. x minus 2y is equal to negative 8. When x is equal to 0, we get negative 2y is equal to negative 8. And I divide both sides by negative 2. And I get 